Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of EVE University, and this is Episode 7 of How to Survive EVE Online. Now, the voice acting provided by CCP is very lovely, but unfortunately I don't think it went any further than this point, so for the rest of this series I'm afraid you're going to be stuck with my voice. My condolences. So, let's get started on the career funnel missions. If you close the window, go to the Neocom, go to the Help button, Support tab, Show Career Agents, and we are going to go with the Industry chain. So, next to Industry, click Start Conversation. If you're with the Center for Advanced Studies School, that would be Hoover and Air. Uh, if you decline or fail a mission from an agent, he or she might become displeased and lower your standing towards him or her. You can decline a mission every four hours without penalty. Do not show this message again. Push OK. And let's close the two windows in the background. And what Hoof Renair wants us to do is to go to a location, mine some Veldspar, and bring it back to him. And he will provide us a mining module to do that with. And he will provide also reward us with 111,000 credits. And if we get this done within three hours, he'll also give us another 130,000 credits. There's also a collateral to be paid in case we somehow fail this mission. So we have to pay a collateral of one credit, which will be paid back to us if we succeed. So let's click Accept. And there will be a built-in game tutorial that will talk that will that you can read about on the subject of mining. Uh, let's hit Alt F to open the fitting service, and let's click and drag the mining module into a high slot. Uh, I'm not expecting combat, so let's drag the extra ammunition and the freedom of operation license into the ship's item hangar. Close this, close that, and let's undock. Now every system has celestial asteroid belts that you can do mining in without requiring an active mission to be on. But for this particular mission, Hoover Renair wants us to go to a specific spot in space, a spot generated by the mission. So you're going to right click an empty space, go to making mountains of molehills, encounter dead space, and warp to location. Ooh, and okay. let's get built-in tutorial out of your way. Now, uh, first of all, the overview. I've mentioned the overview before. It's a list of items of interest, but the different things are going to interest you at different times. And I don't know why my title bar says overview not saved. Let's just left-click the menu icon load default general. Now, where it says default, right click that tab and select add tab and let's call it mining. Push OK. The reason we want to do this is because the default tab is not going to show us asteroids. Left click the mining tab, right click, then right click the mining tab, select overview, mm, oh, you know what, left click the mining tab, left click the menu icon, go to load default, mining, and there's a Veldspar asteroid. Control left click, and turn on the mining laser. Now, most mining lasers that you're going to start working with operate on a one minute cycle. So at the end of the minute, it will deliver a certain amount of ore to your cargo hold. If you right click on the mining module and show info, be very careful. Don't accidentally select put offline. If you do that, you're going to either have to dock back up in station to bring the mining module back online, or wait for your capacitor to be 95% full and right click the module and select put online. So be very careful about that. Right click the module, select show info. You can go to attributes, and this will mine 44 cubic meters every 60 seconds. From, as from an asteroid within 10 kilometers. And we've completed the first mining cycle. And Hoover says, that's it. Now bring 999 units of that stuff to me. So this is essentially how you do mining. Now in this particular case, this mission wants you to go to a specific spot. 
uh, because that's how the mission was set up. If you go to Journal, the Agents tab, the Mission sub tab, and you right click the mission and read Details. And let's move this off to the side. And you close the journal. You will see that there are a number of objectives. Not only do you have to get 999 units of Veldspar to the station, you also have to mine a specific asteroid. Now this specific asteroid requirement has been met since we finished a mining cycle here. The second cycle is completed. We've now got 880 Veldspar. We need a, just a little bit more. One other thing I should mention about mining, it is possible to turn off a mining laser mid-cycle, in which case you'll only get a part of a load. So if you turn off this mining laser after 30 seconds, you'll only get 22 cubic meters of ore. Uh, we should have more than enough by now, so go ahead and hit F2 on your keyboard. That's for the second high slot module. And we are done. Left click the default overview tab, left click the station, click dock. Warp drive active. Some players consider mining to be boring, but occasionally I am in the mood to chew rocks. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. We are now docked in station. I happen to remember that the agent I was working for is Hoover Renair, but if you forget, you can always go to Neocom, Journal, Agents tab, Mission sub tab, right-click the mission and select Start Conversation. Click Complete Mission, and we are done with the mission. Drag the extra Veldspar into your station's item hangar. You're not going to need it right away. We are going to take care of the next mission in the next episode, but before we do that, now that we have some money, there's something I want you to do. Go to the market, Neocom, market, uh, set the range filter to region, Go to the Browse tab, turn off Show Only Available. You should have that as your default. Uh, one other thing, go to the Settings tab, turn off Display Orders in Low Security Systems. Let's go to the Search tab now, type in Industry. Push Return, left click that Entry, and what you want to do under where it says sellers, left click price so that the lowest prices are at the top. Look for where it says station, right click buy this and push buy. Close the market, right click the industry skill book and select train now to level one. Yes, we want to switch our skill training. And let me go to the character sheet open the skill queue and make sure the skill queue looks good. Okay, everything looks good. So that will finish training in about eight minutes. You're going to need that in the third step of the chain. But for now, that is it for this episode. We will take care of the second step of the industry chain in the next episode. In the meantime, thank you for watching.